So Google released a new feature called Playbook Agents in Public Preview in Vertex AI Conversation. Playbook Agents offer a new way to create virtual agents using large language models. Rather than defining dialogue flow, flows, pages, intents, and transitions, you provide natural language instructions and structured data. So let's head over to the Search and Conversation console and create a generative playbook app. I'll give this a name and select a global region and click on Create. So notice that we are no longer taken to Dialogflow CX, which was the case with a regular conversation app. So we can do our entire bot development here in this newer, simpler interface. So let's create a playbook that uses a tool, which is a cloud function. So I'll navigate to Tools and I'll click on Create. So my tool will be called Wikisearch, and I'm going to provide an open API spec in the YAML format. So I have this file in a GitHub repo that I have linked in the video description, so you also have that as a reference. Here I have an open API spec for a simple cloud function that I created. You will need to provide your GCP region and project ID here, which will determine the name of the cloud function if you create one yourself. This is what the function looks like. I also have the code for this in the repo that is linked in the video description. So this function will simply take a query in the request body and do a Wikipedia search using the Wikipedia API. So it's really just a wrapper around this API here. So this is the URL for my function. You need to copy the base name here of the URL and put it in here. And this should match the name of your cloud function. Now you can use the service agent token and ID token configurations here for the authentication. And what you need to remember is that the Dialogflow service agent needs to have the Cloud Run Invoker and the Cloud Functions Invoker roles assigned to it. The reason you need both is that the second generation of Cloud Functions is actually powered by Cloud Run. So you have Cloud Run under the hood and it is weird, but you need now both of these roles in order to invoke a Cloud Function. So let's go back here. Once you save this tool, you can now create a playbook that uses this tool. So first you need to select it down here and you can give your playbook a name, a goal for this playbook, and you can provide instructions here, for example, to keep it very simple. If the user asks a question, search for the answer on Wikipedia by using this tool, you can reference the tool by typing dollar sign and then you can just complete here. And that's about it for my playbook. So you can now save this. And we can try our playbook by selecting it here. And we can type a question. For example, what is the capital of Spain? So it gives us an answer and we can see here that there was a tool used which was a call to my function with the following query. And here were the results of the Wikipedia API. Now we could have instructed the model to rewrite this query perhaps to extract keywords from the questions and run a more elaborate query. But for this demo, I'm not gonna do any of that. Let's just add one more instruction to say, preface your answer with according to Wikipedia. Now I'm gonna reset the chat here and ask a new question. What is the population of Paris? So here's the answer and I'll say according to Wikipedia, etc. So this is one type of tool use or playbook. You can also add a data store type of tool, in which case you can have some grounding and answer questions based on a data store. This is no different than how you do it in Vertex AI conversation. 
like I did in my previous video. I have one example that I already created here, which is a data store that uses unstructured documents. So I have a cloud storage bucket with a couple of PDFs in there. They are the Alphabet's financial report, sustainability report, and diversity report. So I created the data store, selected it here, and saved this as a tool. And now I can go to my playbook with a goal of helping answer questions about Alphabet. And I don't even need to give instructions. Uh, I just selected the data store tool here. And if I ask a question, for example, how does Google make money? We can see that there is an answer here and the tool was used. How does Google make money against the data store? And it used the financial report basically to find a snippet where an answer could be generated from here. So this is basically a retrieval augmented generation system that is kind of managed and abstracted away. So you can very easily set that up here. And you can obviously combine data store tools with function tools. Even within data store tools, you can have multiple types. So for example, you can have indexed websites as a data store or FAQ documents, which is a structured CSV file with questions and answers. And you can have all of these data store types plus functions and create a more elaborate playbook where you have instructions such as if the question is related to X and Y, then look up the answer in the data store. Or if it is a general question, look up in the function, the Wikipedia function or whatever the function is. You can also have transaction as part of this. Your function could be an API facade to run a lookup to a database or perform some kind of transaction. So once you are ready to publish this, you can go over to integrations. You can choose the Dialogflow Messenger, for example, here. This is Dialogflow's native um, little UI that you can embed in a web page. Here, all you have to do is enable the authorized API. You can click on Try It Now to see how it works. And it looks like this, and you can start asking the questions here to the playbook. Or you can also integrate with Messenger, Line, Google Chat, Slack, MMD Smart, Twilio, Discord, Spark, WebEx, Telegram, Fiber, and Azure Bot Service. Let me just show you a couple of settings available here. And again, this is a public preview product, so there will be more configurations and settings coming and capabilities as well. But you can do things like enable login and conversation history and BigQuery export for analysis of your conversations. In the Gen AI settings here, you can select a generative model that is used for um, the summarization and answer generation. You can add banned phrases, so things the bot will not be allowed to say. And there's some Git integration here for continuous integration uh, and continuous development. Finally, you can check here the conversation history as well. Um, once you have this published and you have conversation history enabled, you'll be able to see the conversations here. More analytics capabilities are coming and also ability to create test cases and other things as well. But for now, you already have something that is quite powerful and can be used for a lot of scenarios where you need a chatbot to perform some simple actions. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.